this demonstration we're going to look at configuring NLB Affinity and also creating port definitions as well. So the first thing we're going to do here is we've just come onto one of our servers in our network load balance cluster. We're just going to run some commands just to set up the, uh, the web so that we can actually test all of this. So all I'm going to do here is I've just come into Windows PowerShell on one of my servers. We're just going to run cmd.exe. And then what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to create a directory and just create a new website. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just create a directory called port test. And I'm just going to copy some files. And then just exit out of this. And then from within PowerShell, what we'll do here is we'll just create a new website. I'm going to do a new hyphen website, hyphen name port test, physical path will point to C colon backslash port test, and the port will be 5678. Next thing to do is just create a new firewall rule. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do new hyphen net firewall rule, hyphen display name, port test, hyphen protocol, TCP, hyphen local port, 5678. So that's all done. So the next thing to do now is just configure our NLB port rules. So to do that, we'll just go across to server one. On server one, we'll just come to tools. And then within tools, what we want to do here is we just want to launch up our NLB manager. So we'll just maximize this up a little bit. We're just waiting for it to refresh. We're just waiting for LonServe 2 to come in. LonServe 2 is now come in. So let's just go to our cluster. And what we'll do here is we'll just right click and we'll just go to our cluster properties. We'll select our port rules. And what we want to do here is we want to remove the all rule. So we'll just select remove. We'll just select OK. Just allow that to refresh. And then the next thing we'll do here is we'll just come back into cluster properties. We'll just come back with port rules again. And what we want to do here is we want to select add. Right, what we'll do here is we'll just fill out our little table. So what we're going to do here is we're going to specify from port 80 to port 80. Protocols are going to be both. Filtering mode will be multiple host. Affinity is going to be set to none. So we're not going to set up any affinity at this point. And then what we'll do is we'll select our OK button. We'll select OK again. And we'll allow this to refresh. Now what we'll do is we'll just add another port rule. So we'll just right click. Go back to our cluster properties again. What we'll do is go back to port rules. And then within port rules we'll select add again. And then what we want to do is just fill out our little table again. This time what we're going for is 5678 to 5678. Protocols are going to be both TCP UDP. What we're also going to do down here as well. We're going to specify this for single host. Remember we've only got the website running on LonServe 2. And we'll select OK. We'll select OK again. And again, we'll allow that to refresh. So now we've done that. Next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come to Lawn Serve once. We'll just go to Host Properties at this point. And then what we want to do on the Host Properties here, we just want to come to the Port Rules tab. And what we want to do here is we just want to have a look at the 5678 to 5678. What we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to edit. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to change this handling priority, make it a little bit higher. So set that 10 again. Remember, we only have the website run on port 5678 on host 2. So this point here, we'll select OK. And we'll select OK again. And again, we'll just allow this to refresh. And that's the end of the demonstration of modifying affinity and port rules. Thank you.